The tool is direct diplomacy. The tool of indirect diplomacy is when a nation looks towards the help of other nations in order to negotiate with the non-cooperative nations peacefully. This tool was used successfully in 1979 to 1980 during the Iran hostage crisis. During the Iranian Revolution, radical college students invaded an American embassy in Iran. The crisis occurred when 53 Americans were held hostage for 444 days, from November 4, 1979 to January 20, 1981. When Iran refrained from negotiating with the United States, the U.S. had to contact Algeria. In this situation, it was only with the help of other nations that the United States retrieved their citizens. It ended with the signing of the Alger Algiers Accords in Algeria on January 19, 1981. The hostages were formally released into United States custody the following day, just minutes after the new American President Ronald Reagan was sworn in. One of the pitfalls of indirect diplomacy is the lack of direct contact with those who you wish to negotiate with. Using other nations to communicate can complicate matters.